Eyewitness News Saturday Night Sports Show. Welcome back to the Saturday Night Sports Show. Sticking with high school football, we have five local teams seated in the Class 3A bracket, and we start with a pair of District 4 teams. Danville and Montoursville also battling for District 4 gold. Ironmen took the regular season meeting in Week 7, but the Warriors ready for revenge. Early on, Cole Rank caps a 10-play, 65-yard drive. It's 7-0. Montoursville facing fourth down later on, but Logan Ott powers into the end zone. This one goes into the half with the Warriors up 17-0. It's more Montoursville domination in the third. After a big 37-yard pass play, here's Ott again capping another big drive with a two-yard score. And how about one more? Ott, like a robe Ott. He's gone 32 yards. Warriors shut out the Ironmen in a convincing 32-0 victory. Montoursville gets the winner of this one between Scranton Prep and Lakeland. This game also doubling as a District 2 championship. Chiefs out to a hot start on their very first play. C.J. Dupree hits Thomas Pigeon on a 58-yard bomb, 7-0 Lakeland. Prep has the swift answer. Leo O'Boyle buying time. Finally finds Michael Greco open in the end zone. That evens the score at 7. Later in the first, Cavaliers get the run game going. The handoff goes to Tucker Johnson. He cuts up the middle, breaks a few tackles, and takes it 44 yards to the house. PAT no good. It's 13-7. In the second, Lakeland battling back. Dupree launches one downfield, and James Lewis hauls it in. Another big play for the Chiefs. Ties the game at 13, but Johnson was too much to handle on the ground. He busts up the gut to put Prep back in front. The Cavs pull away in the second half to claim the district title, 47-19. Elsewhere in the 3A bracket, North Schuylkill is taking on Conwell Egan. How's this for a start? First quarter, the Spartans block an Eagles punt. Dylan Dietz is Johnny on the spot and takes off. Looks like he could go the distance, but he's brought down at the one-yard line. That's okay. North Schuylkill cashes in on the next play. Quarterback Jane Livey on the sneak. Spartans up early 7-0. In the second, game tied now until Patrick Garwo of the Eagles takes the plunge from two yards out, helping Conwell Egan to advance in a 28-14 win. Up in the Class 5A bracket, Wallen Paul Pack is looking to get past Holidaysburg. First quarter, Brady Walters of the Golden Tigers takes a snap and decides to take it himself. He works his way through traffic for the six-yard score. It's 7-0. In the second, more of the same. Walters again calling his own number. Come in right for our cameras. That puts Holidaysburg up 14-0 at the half. And in the third, the Golden Tigers really start to pull away. The handoff goes to Nate Fisher, and he powers up the middle for a 15-yard touchdown. All Holidaysburg in this one. Wall and Paul Pack eliminated 31-0. In the college ranks, Penn State is on the road to face one win Rutgers, a team that hasn't scored a touchdown against the Nittany Lions in their last three meetings. Penn State in all white taking the field in the birthplace of college football. Second quarter, Nittany Lions up 3-0 and adding to it. Trace McSorley to Pat Fryermuth. That's touchdown number 100 for the quarterback, 10-0 Penn State. In the third, Rutgers trying to get on the board on fourth down. It's the Philly special, even fakes out our photographer. Unfortunately, quarterback Gio Resigno drops the ball. Tough luck for the Scarlet Knights. Later in the third, Nittany Lions score off a Rutgers turnover. It's the McSorley Friarmouth connection again. Penn State wins 20 to seven as McSorley becomes the winningest quarterback in school history. At Yankee Stadium, it's third-ranked Notre Dame donning the pinstripes as the Irish face number 12 Syracuse. A great setting for this top 25 matchup. Let's get into the action. First quarter, Notre Dame knocking on the door. Ian Book hits Dexter Williams, and he reaches for the goal line for the score. 7-0 Irish. In the second, following the Syracuse turnover, Jafar Armstrong with a ton of space on his right side goes untouched into the end zone. And Notre Dame still perfect with a 36-3 win. Finally, on the ice, the Wilkes-Barre Scranton Penguins facing Charlotte for the second consecutive night. Action starts early in the first. Penn's already down one. They get even here thanks to this rocket from Adam Johnson. The game is tied. Later in the first, Penn's win the battle behind the net, and Thomas DePauli puts a bow on it. But Charlotte battles back and takes this one in overtime, 6-5.
Well, that does it for us here on the Saturday Night Sports Show. It's the second to last one. As always, thanks for watching. Have a fabulous night and enjoy the rest of your weekend.